baby this wig is eating on all types of levels girlies if you guys did not know now you know autumn slash fall is one of my favorite seasons favorite seasons y'all i'm so excited so i'm gonna be doing a series where i'm gonna be installing different fall units and i'm gonna kick it off this is gonna be our first week this is i'll try perfect hairline her name is arua bell hopefully i'm pronouncing that right but look at this color look at the roots look at the hairline let's just get into it this is the overall construction of the wig okay it does have an elastic band if you want to wear it glueless you can do that all right guys so look look at this color this color is cajun spice if fall was a wig this wig would be the perfect representation of it because look at it the roots y'all already know i'm here for the roots because i don't like color at my roots i like my roots to be dark yeah black look at the hairline we're gonna go ahead and prep the hairline i'm just going in with a little bit of wax just a little bit i don't want it greasy and if you guys see the product on my hot comb that is what's burning okay not my hot comb so don't even do that okay it's time for me to either clean it or just get another one <laughs> but anyway do y'all not see this hotline i mean hotline hairline okay look at this look at that look at that like don't even play so i had took it off the mannequin and put it on my head to do a middle part it still look a little crooked but we gonna fix that later I'm going in with more of my wax and we're just going to hot comb the part section because of course we need that that to be super duper flat. Um, I do go in with hairspray as well on top of that because I want everything to be laid and y'all see me doing my little bump the dump because look at that. Do y'all see how that fell? Um, now I'm just going in with a little bit of what am I saying a little bit? <laughs> I'm just going into part the back section of my wig because I feel like when you make a part in the back, it makes the overall view of your wig look super duper flat. And it's not giving us helmet head because of course we know it's a wig, but you, you're not trying to make it too obvious, you know? But anyway, I'm just going in with my tweezers. To, I'm making sure that my the angled side of the tweezers are uh, facing towards the lace. That way, when I'm plucking it, I'm not plucking big, gigantic holes in the lace. Trust me, I've turned the tweezers the other way and did it with the pointy side. And it just plucked holes all up in my lace. But sometimes you can pluck a little too hard and get holes in your lace anyway, but it's not really going to show. So now I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and just removing the hair that I plucked. And this is the side that is not plucked. And this is the side that's plucked. Now I'm just going in with my Red by Kisses Lace Tinting Spray in the shade Medium Brown. Y'all see that lace? That lace is giving us transparent and that's not what we're going for. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure everything is blending in with our skin tone you can use foundation you can use concealer but i like to use this stuff because it looks makes it look like you bleached a knot so now i'm going in using my paper edger scissors <laughs> and i'm just it comes with all types of you know crafty scissors i'm just going to use this pair because it makes more of a you know jagged edge that i like um this was my first time using it i think i have to get used to the scissors because, honey, I didn't know what I was doing. I was struggling a little bit, to be honest. But it, it got the job done. I'm also creating a part so that when I cut around my ear, it fits perfectly. But I really I really love the, the scissors because I feel like it made my install look a little bit more natural versus blunt. gonna install my wig if you guys watch me all the time y'all already know how this go i'm just using my lace spray by kiss i will have all products listed in the description section below i like to layer up um i think i did about one to two layers here i allow it to dry and get a little bit tacky and then add another layer on and then secure my wig down now i'm just gonna go ahead and pull our lace forward and align it with the product and like i said i don't like to pull it too tight because it will give us fall for front fries I don't like that and I notice when I pull it too tight it definitely creates that effect so, 
I just like for it to lay naturally. And then I just use the back of my comb and press that into the product as well to help it adhere. And also we're just gonna go back in with some um, cool air as well. And look how that melted. Like, don't play with her. All right, so we're gonna do the same steps throughout my entire unit. I ain't gonna repeat it because it's repetitive. But I feel like for, for the holidays as a kid, I don't know if it was just me not being aware of what my family did to make those holidays feel like holidays. Because it's like now if you don't do nothing, it don't be feeling like Christmas or it don't feel like Thanksgiving. Like if you don't participate in like changing your home decor to uh, fall or Christmassy. It don't feel like it, but I, I think that's just what it is when your kids, all those things were done for you. So it was easier to get in the holiday spirit. And yeah, I need to get some fall decor because I need to feel the fall spirit. Okay. All right, so now I'm just going in with a little bit of spritz. We're just going to secure this around my hairline. Y'all don't play with that hairline. Do y'all not see this hairline? I'm tapping the screen. Y'all hear this? <laughs> Y'all not see this freaking hairline? This spritz is going to also give me another extra layer of security, but it's also going to help that lace melt because some of those parts don't look blended. Now, don't let the light fool you because sometimes the lighting, depending on which lighting you're using, some of your, the lace will look blended and then sometimes it won't look blended. Like if I turn my head this ankle, everything looks blended. But if I turn back to the front, It'd be looking weird. Don't play with me. But I'm going to allow this to dry it or dry down before I put my elastic band on. And I don't like to leave this on that long. So. All right. So while my band is sitting on, I'm just going to go ahead and detangle it using a wide tooth comb. I like to use a wide tooth comb when I'm first installing my units. Just that they launch just so that the longevity of the curls will last a little bit longer. I feel like when I go in and use my paddle brush, baby, no. It'd be taking my curls out too quickly. Now we're just gonna go ahead and take this band off. Y'all better come down here and get you one of these. Y'all better come down here and get you one of these. Uh, cheeky silly. <laughs> Y'all, this hairline is eating, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and crispy up this part. I'm just gonna make sure it's super duper sharp. Now, this part look a little dull, so I'm just gonna go in with some concealer to just make it pop. Now y'all know I be I be sometimes I be like I love a crispy part, and sometimes I be like uh, -uh it's giving fake. But she's giving what she's supposed to give right now, cause look at her, I love it. All right, so now we're gonna do baby hairs. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do some baby hairs this day, but I decided to do so. Now sometimes I use the even was it melt melt something and i use my spritz and i sprayed on the outside of the lace it be giving crunchy okay y'all see me i'm taking my um baby hair brush edge brush and we're just brushing that out because it be giving hard and crusty and flaky don't let the girlies lie and tell you that it's not gonna get hard and crunchy if you spray any type of that lace melt on the outside it is what it is but it comes out y'all it comes out but now y'all see me making sure my baby hairs are even on both sides. Now the thickness, the density of my baby hairs depend on how I'm feeling that day. This day, I was given a little bit more on the thinner side. Y'all, I be scared of this little thing. I be burning myself. So I'm like, curl the first time right so I ain't got to go back in. Because I be, I be scared. I be literally scared. But we're just going to curl these towards our face. And then we're going to take... I got the bee. Yes, I'll be pulling out got the bee again. I got the bee blasting free spray. And we're going to spray it on an edge brush. And we're going to mold those baby hairs. Now, sometimes I use my got the bee glue gel. But lately, I be feeling like it's very messy. I ain't got time for that. This doesn't get messy like um, the got the bee gel, in my opinion. Because y'all know I already have my makeup on before I do my wigs. And that gel plus my makeup is giving sloppy, nasty. And I can't stand it. So, I went back to the got the bee glue spray. Now, if you want to hold a strong hold, you're going to have to put a lot of product on there. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So we're just going to form them until it get in place. Sometimes I like to dry it down, trim them up. Y'all be seeing what I be doing. So we're just going to swoop these until we like them. Okay. And it be taking me forever sometimes to do baby hairs because I'll be like, they look too thin. So I'm going to have to go back and add more hair in. Hey guys, 
guys so what this is the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoy because baby look at this hair i'm fall ready like nobody can tell me nothing even with my broken nail nobody can tell me nothing baby this wig is eating on all types of levels okay this is a definitely 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 must have unit okay you have to have her in your collection look at what she is giving look at what she's serving okay this hairline is flawless i don't care what nobody says this hairline one of my favorite hairlines it's a perfect hairline baby y'all see how flat this is it's super flat no bumps no lumps she is serving on all levels i have no complaints okay now this is synthetic so she is gonna tangle so don't even play y'all already know what it is when it comes to these units just because they look good don't be they virgin hair so do be mindful of that it's gonna tangle and it's gonna shed here and there now i did go in and pluck it so i'm gonna have more shedding than y'all if you decide not to pluck it i probably will rate this unit a seven and a half eight out of 10 only because the tangling the tangling okay and it was given a little dry towards the ends but other than that y'all i will buy her again 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 so yeah y'all i'm completely obsessed one of my favorite units and like i said y'all i'm gonna have to go ahead and cop me another one to have it in my stash before i put this video live because i know i'm gonna wear the heck out of this unit for the mother freaking fall like nobody's gonna tell me nothing y'all not gonna tell me nothing okay so yeah i really really enjoyed working with this unit let me know what you guys think thoughts in the comment section below and if you guys are interested in this wig i'll have her linked down there okay get you her okay get you her i gotta go so yeah until my next video you girl see you later bye guys